around this. So it's going to have to be, I'm going to have to help your partner a little bit, wiggle it around. Go ahead. This is, you want the block to be not on the thigh like it just was before on the hip bones. So Carlotta's going to come into plank. And then she's going to shift forward. Yep, good. And then she's going to rest her body. So can you guys see how from here she's supported so she has the ability to work on this. But now we're going to draw her elbows in. Do you see how flush the back of her triceps are with her ribs? Yeah. And that her head is long. Her belly hip bones are resting on the block and this is what your chaturanga should look like. So I just want you to do it supported like this so you feel that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Carlotta to drag her elbows in and power through and I'm going to take her shoulder blocks away, right? And see if she can maintain that same position without the block there, still underneath the hips. Okay? And then she can drop the knees down and slowly pull back. See that? So what happens is if you take the shoulder blades, the shoulder blocks away and you go <laughs> that means you just got to work on the tricep strength a little bit, right? When you jump back, you land with bent elbows. Everybody see that? One more time from here. Hands flat, bend the knees, jump back, land bent elbows. Flip the toes, upward facing dog. And then come up and back, downward facing dog. Same thing, look forward, bend, little hop up to the top of the line. Okay? So, lock. Most people are going to have to drop their knees and then slowly lower to their belly because upward dog is too hard. They're going to take a little baby cobra and then most likely have to pull back to child pose or downward dog before they walk back up to their mat. So you need to know how to teach Surya A with those modifications. Does that make sense? The jump back, that's for advanced and that's why when you teach to an open level class, you say, you have a practice already, you're welcome to jump back. But you cue to beginners. You cue to modification. Okay. You've got to do a little fancy footwork with your, with your hands. And then we're going to bend the knee and come to reverse warriors in front. You're going to wiggle your hands all the way down. Same thing on the inside of the leg. And then you're going to pick up the foot and you're going to cross it into pigeon pose. We're going to sit back a little bit. We're going to do some curls and pigeon pose that kind of open up the body. You're going to plant the hand. You're going to roll to the outside of the foot. You're going to grab the leg, take it into tree pose, Vashisthasana. You're going to step behind the body, open up your heart, wild thing. You're going to step forward, twist the arm, drop the hands down, lift it up and come into Ardha Chandrasana. And let's take you through this nice and slow. We're going to grab the back of the foot, Chapasana, and then we're going to come all the way down. Now, this is where you have your choice. The left leg is up. You're going to walk the hands forward and touch. You can choose to either, if you had chin stance on your own, you would be a candidate to go from Ekapada, Kulinyasana. So you can come into that middle place, flip it up, and then come into chin on your own. From there, to forward, child. When we get to that point in class, you're either working on Ekapada Kundinyasana. If you have it, you transition in to chin stand. Be honest with yourself, and that's where we're going to go for the next sequence. Okay? All right, let's give it a go. If you can